It is important for every nation to feel confident that it can defend itself and its borders against hostilities. Knowing that you have the right capability to hand, and almost as importantly, for others to know that you have it, is a defense in itself. The current conflict in Ukraine has some people on their toes. Suddenly, there's a growing interest in military vehicles, some of which have changed the dynamics of modern warfare. In April 2022, the UK Ministry of Defense showcased the Stormer high-velocity missile launcher for Ukrainian generals at the Army Training Estate in Salisbury, England, in order for them to view the anti-air military technology available to them. In a statement to the British Parliament, Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said Stormer armored vehicles would give Ukrainian forces enhanced short-range anti-air capabilities both day and night. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at this aircraft killer and its history. In the 1970s, the British Ministry of Defense developed a concept vehicle from the Scorpion. It was a larger version of the FV-103 Spartan, with an added row wheel on each side. Also, it had a new engine, transmission, and suspension changes. This virtually doubled the carrying capacity of the Spartan and provided a much more versatile platform for further development. It was intended to be a general-purpose armored personnel carrier or combat vehicle platform. The prototypes armed with a 7.62mm machine gun over the commander's position underwent much testing and trials. In the 1970s, Alvis Vehicles purchased design and marketing rights from the Ministry of Defense for this new vehicle and christened it the Stormer. In 1981, Alvis announced that they would be developing this vehicle. Soon after this announcement, Malaysia placed an order for 25 of the Stormer armored personnel carriers. The Stormer was first shown in 1987 as the FV-4333. The British Army has procured Stormers in modified form to act as the mobile platform for the Shorts Starstreak High Velocity Missiles, or HVM. The first of 151 Stormer HVM systems originally ordered entered service in 1997. On this variant, launchers are located towards the rear together with their target sensors. Starstreak missile's highly unique design significantly differentiates it from other shore rod missiles. Designed and developed from first principles to engage fast, evasive, or heavily armored pop-up targets, all in a short time frame. The system is required to travel at exceptionally high speed. Simultaneously, it has to be small and light enough to be manned portable on the battlefield, where it may increasingly need to be deployed in urban environments. The Starstreak missile has a two-stage solid propellant rocket motor and travels at more than three times the speed of sound. Each missile contains three high-density darts with impact fuses and explosive warheads to make multiple hits on the target. The darts are released as the second stage of the motor burns out. The missiles have a range of 1.5 to 5.5 kilometers and can counter even high-performance low-flying aircraft. Though recent brochures from Thales, the system's manufacturer, indicated that the missile has a range in excess of 7 kilometers, service ceiling for these missiles is 1,000 meters. The Starstreak also has a semi-automatic line-of-sight laser beam riding guidance. Missiles are guided on the target by the operator, who tracks the target using the optically stabilized sight. These unique characteristics and the exceptional speed of Starstreak pose a significant challenge to adversary pilots who are unlikely to have sufficient time to react once an engagement begins. The Starstreak missiles are also effective against ground targets, meaning that it would make for a powerful and portable anti-tank weapon. This would be especially useful in situations of guerrilla warfare, especially because the Starstreak is not very difficult or skill-intensive to operate. It is estimated that darts have sufficient kinetic energy to penetrate the front armor of an infantry fighting vehicle. Eight ready-to-fire missiles are stored in the launchers, and up to 12 reload missiles are carried inside the hull. The Starstreak missiles are also launched from a three-round lightweight launcher and a man-portable shoulder launcher. A proven in-surface missile Starstreak first saw active service during the Iraq conflict in 2003, and over the last 19 years, it has been deployed on multiple operations by the UK and global users. The vehicle has a roof-mounted panoramic weapons sight 
and an air defense alerting device for target recognition and prioritization. It can detect aircraft at ranges of 18 kilometers and helicopters at ranges of 8 kilometers. The Stormer air defense system is capable of rapid engagement. It takes less than 5 seconds from target acquisition to missile launch. The system also has a high first round hit probability. This air defense system has a crew of three, including commander, operator, and driver. The design of the Stormer HVM consists of the driver's seat at the left front, the engine compartment to the right, and the missile launching station at the rear. The hull of the Stormer is made of all-welded aluminum armor, which provides protection for the crew against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. The vehicle is also fitted with an NBC, or Nuclear Biological Chemical Protection System. There's also night vision equipment optional for the crew. The vehicle is powered by a Perkins T6 3544 liquid-cooled six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, developing 250 brake horsepower. The engine is coupled to a David Brown Engineering Limited T300 hot shift foot-operated seven-speed gearbox with centrifugal clutch. It has a maximum road speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 600 km. It weighs 13.5 tons, measures 5.6 meters in length, 2.8 meters wide, and 3.4 meters in height. Unlike the rest of the combat vehicle reconnaissance tracked family, Stormer is too heavy to be lifted by a CH-47 Chinook helicopter, but it can be shipped inside the C-130 Hercules and larger transport aircraft. Following the UK government's 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review and the subsequent Army 2020 restructuring plan, it looked very much as if the Stormer HVM fleet might soon be pensioned off with only three regular Army batteries, plus link reserves, being retained. However, in the light of Russia's seizure of Crimea from Ukraine in 2014 and the subsequent Strategic Defense and Security Review 2015, which led to the Army Refine Plan, ground-based air defense found itself back in fashion. The first six Stormer HVM air defense systems have now arrived in Ukraine and are already being used on the front line. According to social media reports and photos, the British system has shot down two Russian Orlin-10 unmanned aerial vehicles. Although there is no information on when and where it happened, the Stormer HVM, it is claimed, also shot down one Su-25 fighter. But there's no evidence of this. Whatever the truth may be, there is no doubt that the Stormer HVM has certainly got the capabilities necessary. What do you think of the Stormer HVM and its capabilities? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.